Island Packet began in 1979 with the vision of naval architect Bob Johnson. He started off modestly building a 27-footer, but he had big dreams. He built the company into an industry powerhouse, focused on superior quality and safety, as well as comfort and livability. The exclusive full foil keel he developed has provided a benchmark of stability, seaworthiness, and performance. Island Packet Yachts has created benchmark standards and built over 2,500 yachts. From the beginning, every yacht has been built with premium materials, expert craftsmanship, and vigilant manufacturing controls. Today we're sitting aboard this beautiful Island Packet 420, getting ready to take it out for a sail so you can see what this boat can do for yourselves. Stay tuned. The 420 is powered with a Yanmar 4JH 3TBE 75 horsepower diesel. With a range of 800 kilometers, she cruises at 2 gallons per hour at a speed of 7.2 knots at 2800 RPMs. The engine compartment is very well noise insulated to prevent sound intrusion in the cabin. It quickly becomes clear that this engine has been maintained to an impeccable standard. The engine compartment has been equipped with a rule inline bilge blower and a fire extinguishing system consisting of two halon canisters and one dry chem ABC extinguisher. A Parker Rackor 500FG diesel fuel water separator filter has been placed in line as well as a dedicated polishing fuel pump. Propulsion is provided by a Kenzaki shaft drive marine transmission attached to a one and a quarter inch stainless steel shaft new in 2018 and a 20 inch Veriprop DF112 four blade and a spare fixed 19 inch three blade prop. Alternator is a Balmar 100 amp. Attached to a Balmar Max Charge MC612 external regulator for maximum battery charging performance. Electronic and navigation equipment include ICOM IC M802 single sideband radio installed 2006, SCS Pactor USB modem installed 2006, Garmin GMR40 digital radar installed 2006, Standard Horizon Matrix GX2150 VHF radio new in 2015, Garmin 3210 GPS map 2006, Garmin 3010C GPS map 2003. AIS 350 Raymarine Receiver, new in 2015. AIS 650B Raymarine Transceiver, 2015. Fusion MS UD650 Pandora Sirius Bluetooth Stereo. Iridium 9505A Sat Phone with High Gain Fixed Mount Antenna, new in 2019. Zanbus SCP Battery Monitor, new in 2018, and too much more to list. Autopilot is driven by the Raymarine ST7001, including remote autopilot controls at the nav station. Depth sounder is the GSD22, new in 2009. Wind speed direction is a Raymarine ST60 Tridata. And compass is Ritchie Power Stamp. With side power SP75T, bow thruster joystick controls on the binnacle. Captain's Blue Iverson Dodger and Bimini, new in 2018, with exquisitely clear Isinglass. Main Traveler on Cabin Top by Ronston. Stay sail by Quantum on Hoyt Boom.
compression boom bang on main. Two Sunrise SW110 solar panels, new in 2012, and an Air X Marine 400 watt wind generator, new in 2010. Maine is an in-mast max sail, new in 2013. Park and Mark III Roller Furling. One ten percent Genoa by Quantum Sales. Got about 11 to 12 knots, true wind, on just about a beam reach, and we're making between six and a half and seven knots. The full complement of sails entails in-mast max sail 2013, Quantum 120 Genoa 2003, FX12 ASIM cruising spinnaker 2007, 110% Quantum Genoa, Quantum stay sail on Hoyt Boo 2003, Storm tri sail 2008, for a total sail area of 924 square feet. This vessel is equipped with a full complement of winches, eight in total, including two Lumar 54 self-tailing winches, one number 44 self-tailing winch, two number 24s, two number 16s, and one number eight. With all lines led aft to the cockpit, this is an exceptional vessel for short-handed sailing or solo sailing, with the exception of the boom bang and halyards.
Raider number one is a 33 kilogram Rockna with 275 feet of 516 inch galvanized G4 chain and approximately 200 feet 5 8 inch braided Dacron. Windless is a Simpson Lawrence Sprint 1500 vertical 12 volt DC capstan new motor 2012. Pile outdoor marine stereo system in cockpit. This boat comes equipped with a Yamaha 20 horsepower outboard and AB 10 foot rib alloy bottom, both new in 2018. I've come to believe that a good cruising boat must have three things. The ability to be sailed by a shorthanded crew in a variety of conditions, a galley that is safe and functional at sea, and cabin accommodations that include dry sea berths, great storage, and ample ventilation. This may seem simple, but surprisingly, few cruising boats pass the test. This one does. Stepping below in the island pack at 420, it is immediately clear the level of detail in the finished carpentry and just how quality of a space this is. Large, bright, handholds throughout, cabin top and down at hand level. This brilliant nav table setup equipped with everything you need to go offshore including the Iridium Go handheld satellite phone Raymarine autopilot remote immediately to starboard as you enter from the companionway is the galley this is a great functional space with a cutting board over the sink Stainless steel double sinks, microwave, princess stove and oven. Three burner. Lined locker spaces or cabinet spaces. Nicely fiddled recess for your chinaware. A large top loading freezer fridge unit. Nice big deep pantry here, right to the right of the sinks.
You have your Flowmax water pump and sea strainer right here beneath the galley sink. Water shutoffs and access to that space. Moving left from the companionway to port of the companionway is access to the aft stateroom. Beautiful cabinetry again. You have access into the day head here. for privacy from the aft cabin. Great airflow provided from the overhead hatches and port lights. Nice little hanging locker here. Currently occupied with PFDs. Excellent headroom as you enter the aft cabin. About 6 2 headroom here. And again, lots of natural light and airflow provided by the port lights. Nice, big, deep, double wide sleeping quarters back here. And access to mechanical engine room right here. So you can access the day head here from the aft cabin. It is set up with a shower head. and a teak bench that will settle down over top of the head to provide seating while you're showering. Personal toiletries, GFCI plugs, and access to the day head is also available right here from the main cabin. Excellent ventilation again provided by overhead hatch and stainless portals of very high quality. Moving forward now from the galley and companionway is the nav station immediately to starboard. A 
large hinged work surface, piano hinged work surface. Spares and charts and equipment that you'll need on hand. And a nav chair for your convenience. The main salon is plush and provides ample seating. This vessel is equipped with a Newport Dickinson diesel. This table folds up and covers up the shelving here in the main salon and also affords you the ability to open it up with this large center piano hinge for a double wide seating area. I should mention that we have this heating throughout the cabin. Moving forward through the salon. Lots of locker space. There's the water tank there, heater tank. Deep bilges for lots of storage. Each locker is nicely labeled so you can reference back to your lists. fan heater and 12 volt DC power supplies. Lots of uh, outlets to provide power from shore power or inverted power and diesel heater controls right here. Nice deep shelf spaces. Mass is stepped to the keel, nicely dressed in the interior here with vinyl wrap and cleanly enters the bilge. Okay, moving forward to the owner's cabin. We have this beautiful light and airy space. Great ventilation again, provided by the overhead hatches. Large cabinet space. Small bench seat. And this beautiful queen size bed in the master cabin. Great walk around space around this bed. And finally, moving all the way forward into the head. Master ensuite head. 
Again, excellent lighting and ventilation provided through these hatches and portholes. Stainless steel sink and vanity. And this awesome shower space right here. Access to the large hanging anchor locker is through the door in the shower stall. shower and close this like that Looking back from the Ford ensuite head, you get a sense of just how much space we have here in this 42 footer. Great hanging locker space here to port. Again, nice deep shelves with good handhold fiddles. Heat ventilation again right here. And deep sliding shelves, deep sliding cupboards beneath. And to starboard, another large hanging cupboard or shelved cupboard, as it were. Raymarine monitor right here in the main master's cabin to keep an eye on what's going on. Looking at access to the bilge here in the master salon or the master cabin. There's your overboard discharge for the head fully tank disposal system. Large bronze through hulls. That was called Mesa Reader. Great access to the bilge. A little small 
jobs called C strainer and macerator pump. Transducers, through hole. Continuing toward aft. Large bronze sea strainer. And the top of your water tank and water shutoff valves. One of the clever things about island packets too is how this area immediately coming down the companionway It's just gel coated fiberglass with this nice drainage grate here. So when you're coming in from watch on a passage and you're soaking wet and you need to doff your fowlies, the water's not spoiling the woodwork of your cabin sole. It's thoughtful design. Sitting here, it's just beautiful warm, clean, and inviting, this space. But you can tell this is a vessel that was designed with the intention of being able to take her wherever your heart desires. It is as capable a vessel as she is beautiful. Make no mistake about it, the Allen Packet 420 will get you to where you want to go almost anywhere in the world in comfort and style.